Hey, what's going on there, guys? Uh, good evening. The Earthmaster here. Uh, on the live stream, November 29, 2021 is a date, uh, 6.30 p.m. California time. Latest quake out there on the Earthquake 3D globe. is going to be a 2.8 into the California region. Let's go ahead and check out what's going on on the USGS map out here along the west coast. With the USGS uh, 2.5 and above. There is that 2.8 right around Tom's Place, which is right around Long Valley Super Volcano. Let's see, a caldera area right up here. Of course, got a lot of other uh, volcanic uh, faults and stuff down here to the south. This here just sits to the south of Long Valley Super Volcano itself. Looking at uh, the all magnitudes here, of course, we have been seeing a little swarming of activity here southwest of Long Valley over the last week or so. The 24-hour map here shows us uh, continued swarming right around Long Valley Super Volcano. A little renewed uptick. 2.8, pretty deep earthquake movement here around the Long Valley Super Volcano. Uh, so kind of watching that one pretty closely. Let's see if they have been... Uh, it's still actually at an automatic status, so this has not been reviewed by a seismologist. So kind of waiting on that to see if they uh, redefine uh, the numbers there with that 2.8 around Long Valley. A little bit of increase in activity around the Antelope Valley section here. Some microquakes uh, and some lower twos kicking off around Walker, California, Walker Ridge area. Antelope Valley all seen a little bit of heightened earthquake activity over the last 24 hours. Uh, further down south, Ridgecrest seen uh, not a whole lot, just a little few quakes around the fracture zone um, from the uh, earthquakes there a couple years ago. Garlock Fault structure pretty quiet. Southern California looking uh, fairly quiet as well along the San Jacinto Fault area. A little bit of movement off the coast here. I believe this earthquake was from last night, it looks like. Yep, that uh, 2.3. But we did have some further activity down here around the Oceanside area. Uh, Camp Pendleton 1.2. Uh, this one's pretty deep, 16 kilometers there off the coast of California. Still seeing a pretty good swarm of movement into the Gulf of California. We haven't seen any main quake here from this activity, so this is kind of something to watch pretty closely whenever we see a swarm of movement. And we're talking about a swarm too. This here is just uh, just from today. Uh, you can see five earthquakes there within the mid to upper four range. If we go back the last seven days, you can see that number uh, increase there to 10 earthquakes, all within the same area of the Gulf of California. And this uh, activity still within the, uh, it looks like the largest one so far has been a 4.9, but I can't say we've seen a main shake, a main earthquake yet. This could all be uh, a bunch of four quakes here to something much bigger in the area. Uh, not 100% certain how big the magnitude could be in this area. We can look at historical seismic activity within this range. And uh, at least here in the Gulf, Get a pretty good indicator at least within um, our lifetime or at least within recent history of earthquake activity and some can get uh, looks like five to six range possibly above the 6.0 threshold uh, around this region here in the gulf of california area so just kind of watching it like i say whenever we see a swarm of movement uh, in this area it's something to keep uh, keep an eye on there in the gulf of california um, this activity here in the Baja California region south of the border, a little bit of uh, swarming activity as well. Some microquakes kicking off there, uh, but still a little, bit, little signature of some heightened movement in this area of the uh, plate boundaries there. Uh, working our way up in, into the northern California region, uh, some movement along the Makama Fault Zone, which runs from, well, you can see it running from down here around the Sand, uh, Santa Rosa area northward up here just uh, I believe it stretches past the Willits area pretty lengthy fault area uh, and that system is capable of producing some uh, some sizable earthquakes as well nothing like the San Andreas over here to the west but uh, something to keep an eye on uh, there in the coast range of Northern California where we're seeing uh, some microquakes up and down that specific fault zone uh, some movement around the Redding and uh, areas to the east of there as well around Bella Vista a little bit of activity off the coast of Northern Cal along the Petrolia area that struck earlier this morning after actually that was prior to the uh, Japan quake 
Uh, what else we got here? Nevada kind of kind of bumping out there a little bit, but nothing too much in the way of uh, earthquake activity. Texas and Oklahoma all looking uh, like they're on a little standstill at the moment. A little quiet movement out there in the uh, southern plains. Some microquakes throughout the Idaho and uh, Wyoming area. They still, I don't believe they've put up on the uh, all magnitudes map here all the earthquakes. Actually, it looks like they've it looks like they bumped it up a little bit here from the earthquake swarm on the 26th. Uh, yeah, it looks like they added a few, but I guarantee you there's a lot more. You can see uh, the numbers kind of jumped up there. They only got 28 earthquakes, but uh, 21 within this region of that earthquake Yellow, uh, Yellowstone swarm uh, on the 26th and 27th. There's definitely a lot more than the 21 earthquakes, but they're getting to it, right? They're getting to it. Maybe their coffee's kicking in a little bit. Uh, let's see. So today, not a whole lot going on there in the Yellowstone uh, Department, at least according to the USGS. We will check the seismos, which don't lie here in a little, in a little bit. There is the new Madrid fault system. Some earthquake activity uh, early this morning at 2.0 near Marston, Missouri, along the new Madrid area. Areas to the east all quiet. Looks like for now the Atlantic Ridge uh, from Iceland southward all uh, pretty mellow. A little bit of movement down here along the South Sandwich Trench with a 5.1 earthquake kicking up in that region of the world. We had seen a, we have seen a little bit of return of movement along the South America region following that large 7.5 earthquake um, a couple days ago there in the Peru Chile Trench region. Was it a couple days ago? Or was it yesterday? I, days just kind of run together now. Uh, it's at Christmas time and all the, the uh, holiday stuff that goes along with it. Kind of uh, kind of fun stuff there when uh, it comes to uh, your memory. So 4.3 at the Peru Chile Trench, another deep movement here. This is about the only deep one within this region following that uh, larger earthquake, as I mentioned, looks like yesterday, right? How could I forget? 28th? Um, but other than that, uh, we haven't seen any further aftershock activity. So just kind of odd. It's really odd to see that large of an earthquake and not a whole lot of aftershock sequences there. Some deeper movement up in the Columbia area, with the 4.9, 118 kilometers uh, below the surface, more shallower one there, but some deeper uh, trench activity in that portion of South America. Uh, let's see what else we got here. Hawaii still kind of kicking up around the southeast flank region. Not a whole lot of movement around Mauna Loa or Mauna Kea or Kilauea. Just all kind of just a typical day there in the middle of the Pacific Ocean. There is the earthquake that struck Japan earlier this morning, a 6.3, pretty sizable earthquake. That activity has sparked off some aftershock sequences here, including uh, some mid to upper fours kicking off following that 6.3. Uh, that's what I'm saying. We, we get these large earthquakes here, but uh, no aftershock sequences there in South America. Uh, but that's about it here for the aftershock uh, earthquake activity there following that 6.3. Areas north still remain very quiet. I'm still keeping my eyeballs on this here. Just kind of X marks the spot here. Uh, what else we got down around the Philippines area southward? A little bit of movement uh, with a 5.1. And some activity spread across the Indonesia area. Over here around the Fiji Kermadec Trench region, we did see a pretty deep 4.5, uh, 540 kilometers. That was way earlier this morning. Kick up there around Fiji. And also a uh, 5.4 into the subduction zone of the Kermadec Trench. That one striking earlier today. Uh, what else we got here? Not a whole lot of movement around Afghanistan or the Middle East. Uh, Mediterranean Sea regions all shown relatively quiet conditions. As far as the Yellowstone movement goes here in the uh, Wyoming area, let's go ahead and check out that activity here. That, uh, it's kind of weird how this kind of, that was the, um, if you're wonder, wondering about the signature here, that's that 6.3 earthquake in Japan earlier this morning. Uh, that seems to have stopped the data coming in to the Yellowstone area, and I'm not 100% certain why. It affected a lot of the, uh, of the stations. It's just a little odd. To say the least, all of these stations have just died off with no data coming in at all uh, to the Yellowstone's um, seismograph stations here. It's very odd. Except for these over here, a couple around Lake Butte, Lake Yellowstone, the promontory areas all continue to bring in data 
uh, and far as seismic earthquake activity goes there in the park. Um, not a whole lot. It looks like we may have a little bit of swarming back over here around the northwest corner of the park, but it should be showing up here on these stations that are not providing data. So I'm kind of kind of wondering about that, but we are seeing some swarming activity here on these stations that are. But if you notice, the 6.3 barely showed up on this station. So these earthquakes that are kicking up are probably showing up stronger on these uh, other seismograph stations here to the west, because that's kind of where the centralized area of the uh, earthquake swarming has been over the last couple days. So we'll keep an eye on it up here. Who knows what's going on? It's just a chaotic mess when it comes to trying to um, read any type of data on here. It's just all interference. Looks like this thing's having a major meltdown there at uh, Soda Butte in Wyoming. Uh, what else we got here on the trimmer map? Let's go ahead and check out the Pacific Northwest trimmer. We have not seen any further trimmer along the Cascadia, uh, entering into a very quiet spell of activity along the Cascadia subduction zone. And that's uh, following the earthquake activity in South America and the uh, 6.3 off the coast of Japan. So kind of keep an eye on the West Coast and Japan region still, folks. Um, doo -doo -doo, what else we got here in the solar weather department here real quick? Check that out. Looks pretty uh, quiet. Once again, folks, not a whole lot going on. Not even worth mentioning. 30% chance of a sea flare. Whoop-de-doo, right? Not a whole lot. Sun's, the, sun's, the sun needs to come back to life. It's just kind of, uh, obviously it's burning, but uh, we need some sunspots. Sunspots make stuff... Uh, rather interesting in the uh, the earthquake department and other departments so hopefully that comes back here pretty soon as we head towards the solar maximum uh, coming up here what else do we have to cover folks let me check out the EMSC sometimes these guys uh, bring in some earthquake data that the USGS does not issue out there and I was looking at this earlier uh, there's that earthquake swarming activity in the Gulf of California not a whole lot at La Palma. Looks like there was a, uh, let's go ahead and zoom in here to this region of the world. Canary Islands, La Palma area. Looks like they did have some earthquake movement. Uh, Canary Islands. I'll go back the last couple hours or so. Yeah, three hours. Kind of looks like we're looking at a at least a double amount of earthquakes happening there at the Canary Islands at uh, La Palma region. Um quite a bit a large uptick in twos and threes kicking off here over the last uh, over the last few hours things have really ramped up in the earthquake activity or the earthquake department there at La Palma and most of these La Palma got some Albania southern Iran <coughs> eastern Turkey and stuff like that but uh, majority of these definitely happening there at uh, in the in the uh, Canary Islands there including it looks like a I've seen a little bit larger one where'd that go 4.6 earthquake striking uh, what's going on there EMSC things kind of frozen I'm not for sure why alrighty well if that is indeed a 4.6 uh, the USGS does not is not they continue to not report it I, I'm not for sure why check out the seven days and you can see even even the last seven days they don't really report anything in that area So a little odd, but then again, that's the USGS folks there for you. All right, guys, uh, look, what do we got here? 4.6, did that just come in? Because when I check the map here, I don't believe I've seen that. Yeah, this earthquake just coming in um, to the seismographs here, along with some activity kind of ramping up Southern California, geysers, and Hawaii all kicking up here within the last couple minutes. Yeah, but the 4.6 just coming into the uh, South Sandwich Trench area and a much deeper movement here uh, into the subduction zone, 35 kilometers for that 4.6. The other one, 5.1, was uh, much shallower, 10 kilometers. So some movement on the way, folks, it looks like. Have a good night. Uh, we will chat you guys a little bit later. And uh, stay safe out there. A whole lot of movement coming on, folks. Peace out.